the blue ring octopus is more venomous than any terrestrial or land-dwelling animal, and they live in shallow water of the Pacific Ocean primarily as bottom dwellers. They can be found along the coasts of Australia, Japan, Papua New Guinea, the Solomon Islands, the Philippines, Indonesia, and Sri Lanka. Although that may sound like a broad area, because they only live in shallow, temperate waters, their habitat range is rather small. They're non-aggressive in opposition to their stigma, and are usually found hiding in crevices, empty seashells, and even thrown out bottles and cans. If you were aware of their existence before stumbling into this episode, you may be surprised to learn that they are actually extremely small. A blue ring octopus will only grow to a few inches in length, and that's including their legs. Most of them are about the size of a golf ball, and that's once they reach adulthood. Blue ringed octopuses eat crustaceans and the occasional small fish. They hunt by enveloping their prey, disallowing them to escape, and puncturing a small hole into their shell. Then they just kind of drool everywhere. Their saliva is toxic, so it ends up paralyzing the prey. Blue ringed octopuses actually have two different sets of toxins. One used for feeding, just as I described, and another used for defense. The toxin released for defense, that's the scary one. Well, I guess for those crustaceans, they're probably both pretty scary. The venom itself is actually made via a symbiotic relationship between the octopus and a bacteria in its mouth. Adult blue ring octopuses lack the ability to ink as a means of defense, so they only have their venom on which to rely. Well, that and those crazy blue rings. A blue ringed octopus will only display its rings when threatened. They use these as a sign to ward off potential predators, as if saying, hey, I could probably kill you. And they can flash these rings in a third of a second. So this fast. Or this fast. Like this. The reason they can perform this action so fast is because when the rings are not visible, they're actually simply being hidden under folds of the octopus's skin. When an octopus wants to reveal its rings, it only has to uncover them. Although it's not been determined how long young octopuses live before they mature, once they have matured and are ready to mate, their fate has basically been sealed, as the mating process kills both parents involved. Female blue ring octopuses will remain with her eggs, protecting them until they hatch. This can last anywhere from a month to a few months, depending on the species. During this time, the female blue ring octopus won't eat. Shortly after her babies have hatched, she'll die. This is actually common of most octopus species. The lifespan of a blue ring octopus is a short one, which is what makes this next point all the more confusing. Blue ring octopuses are actually kept as pets. Yes, even though they live extremely short lives, and yes, even though they are highly deadly, they are kept, by some people, as pets. It's been theorized that this trait is actually hurting blue ring octopus populations. Although we don't currently have statistics on the population of this animal, due to habitat destruction and the pet trade, it's been guessed that their numbers are on the decline. As pets, many blue ring octopuses either don't survive shipping or perish after only a few weeks to a few days after arrival. Plus, they really can kill you, and there is no known antidote to their venom. Just an FYI for any exotic enthusiasts out there. On a lighter note, as deadly as they are and as hype as their stigma may be, there have only been three confirmed deaths in the past century by blue ring octopuses. Still, three is three too many in my mind, and it's always best to be cautious while in the habitat range of these tiny cephalopods. For more information on the blue ring octopus, feel free to browse through my citations in the description below. Thank you for watching, and be sure to give a thumbs up for more animal fact files.